What made him this way? What is the attraction? What keeps us fascinated? This is the story of Chris Chan. Captain's Law, star date, April 3rd, 2009. On August 3rd, 2009, Christian announced on video that the extensive documentation of his life proves that he is the true Christian Weston Chandler. I see the truth behind the reason why the trolls troll me, why they have been, why they're still doing it, and all the like. Not just because they're bored, not just because they want information, not just because they want to get to know me, not because, not just because they've been emotionally hurt themselves. So many details that could be supposed for all the reasons to be listed, but the trolls are there to document the truth. It is good to have my own trolls. They may try and sometimes succeed in getting too hard, honest information from one, and they may later twist the truth for their evil purposes, just like the proper Razi. And yet, they still document the truth. And that text, audio, photographic, video, etc. type of information is what separates the imposters from the real, true, honest individual. Just as I am posing in my shirt, in my coat, in my coat, I have worn on my 25th birthday future message video. I wear it now because I thank you, trolls. I thank you for documenting the truth. I thank you for uh, keeping it real and separating me from the false people. Yeah, so therefore, for all that you trolls have done, you in turn have done for me an excellent service. As with the Wolf, Cow Wolf Cub Scout salute, I salute you. Have a good day. Stay safe. Also, before I forget, the uh, current Saint Star contest between me and the imposter in the brown stripes. I know your name, Mr. Toys R Us Giraffe. His name, only cut in half. Use the first half. Anyway, the contest shall continue for the fun of it. And I hope he will enjoy the song I have in my mind that God has entrusted me to relay for him to sing, that he enjoys it and sees the meaning. The Lord loves us. Our own name, our own true honest name. The following day. Casey had another chat over the phone with Chris, who was playing the part of Liquid Chris once again. Okay, I got your email, and um, I emailed Emily, so yeah, I'm waiting to hear back from her, or Kim. Uh, Emily, uh, you, might, yeah, you meant to say Kim, right? I meant to say Kim, I know you told me about Emily, sorry. Mm, whatever. Mm. Anyway, yeah, so uh, what else is going on? I was just calling, you know, because I'm supposed to be coming down tomorrow. Um, I hope my car makes it. Yeah, I hear you. Well, so we're looking you're... forward to your business. My, my uh, parents are looking forward to meeting you. Oh, awesome, awesome. Casey then expresses her hatred for Christian. I know he really pisses you off. Hmm. I mean, how much do you hate him? Because, I mean, if I hate him about all these things, you have got to have tons of things to hate about him. Hmm. I pretty much... I have hate. I've got tired of hating, you know, so I just figured I'd just flow with it. Ugh. So, I mean, I guess you're giving him a chance because of all this, but I mean, you just told me the other day that he has a homosexual lisp and he probably takes it up the butt for black guys. <sighs> that's just, I, I can tell you right now, that's just a whole bunch of lies that somebody put on the uh, ED page against me. What? There's no ED page against you. That's the imposter. What are you talking about? 
I mean, come on, this guy. He tried to disqualify you over something stupid. He didn't even look at your video. I mean, but he can put stupid things like Parappa rap in his thing and not be disqualified. Fuck that shit. Oh, oh sorry for me cursing. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, come on, Chris. Don't, yeah, but, don't yeah, you but have any like, you know, I kind of grew up emotionally a bit more the past few days. Um, but seriously, I mean, he's really pissing me off, Chris. I mean, come on, support me. He, he subscribed to me. I think he's trying to go through me for you. I mean, uh, could you I, believe I, that? Who is he to fucking try to get in between us? I mean, I love you. You are the fucking creator of Sonichu. You are the fucking man. You are awesome. I mean, look, look at all his mm. toys. I mean, how old is he? I'd say he looks about 27 himself. <laughs> he looks way older than 27, but you know, that could just be the PSI toy. Crappy shit. Well, I, do, I will admit the camera does add about a few pounds. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> and then this whole singing challenge. Like, he has a fucking choice. I mean, I want you to do this with me. You gotta do it for me. I need to feel supported by you. And I mean, you were doing it last night, so what's the difference now? You've gotta win. This guy is coming after you for no reason just because he wants your e-fame or whatever he thinks. Fucking pig, he doesn't even look like he takes a shower. Mm. August 4th was an eventful day for Christian. First off, he emailed Vivian G about his recent revelation concerning his trolls. I am thanking all trolls for their documentation of whatever truths I've shared with them in the past. Granted, they've twisted the words around and made me look bad, stupid, and worse. But the original words and drawings that I have stated and created from my hand have been documented, especially in the Encyclopedia Dramatica page. And those documented words and images from years of information separate me from any imposter, especially the brown striped Jeff. I've had my revelation for the purpose of trolls and internet bullies from God the other day, and with a full confident heart, well-confirmed thoughts and ponders, and energetic gusto, I thanked you all. God has put you all on this earth, and appointed you all each to pick on my nerves to challenge my reactions. Now that I fully understand all that beyond, I'm just doing it for the fun of it. I'm just bored, I just like trolling and such. I can finally move on with you all in my background and continue with my drawing and coloring of my stories and books and stand up for my full power on the city of Quickville and beyond and especially in becoming an emotionally stronger man among all that. Thank you Vivian. Thank you Clyde. Thank you all. She simply replied with, You still haven't learned anything, have you? He then made a lengthy video addressing Liquid Chris. I know the truth. Your real name is Jeff. You've been talking to this guy named Dan Topotis at Yahoo.com about sits, money, or whatever. And think about, oh yeah, we're gonna troll me some more, the real me. And also, I've been talking to Casey. She still cares about you, man. But I will bless you and her with eternal happiness and being together, all I would ask you to do is just come come clean. No false documents. Your real name. You're not the original creator, aren't you? I am. So give it up already. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a sample of what I would like you to play for song number five. This was a song that was that I was turned on to by my Australian gal pal, Panda Halo, did the best Chris Chan Sanchi heart ever among other fan arts, gonna be cover number 10 for the real books. The real books available on the real Wikipedia, the official Sanchi and Rose Chu site of 2009 and beyond. Anyway, I want you to think about this song that I'm about to tell you about. It's called Lift Up Your Eyes from the Plant Shakers. And you have to pay a dollar for this song because it's not available for free download. And it's a wonderful song. Is that really your name, Christian Weston Chandler? Or is your real name Jeff something? Because God will not love you very much or will have less respect for you 
you steal other people's names and take credit for their own work. I actually have police people investigating you and detectives, the Green County Sheriff and his group. My father voted for him. He met him at the fruit stand. When he was being the one he was in the really I forget his name though. But I shook his hand. I shook his hand and he accepted a job to go against you. I can lift up the charges easily. But all I ask is that you just give it up. Let it go. God loves you by your real name. So quit assuming the one that you stole, please. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna say I wish you luck in your love that you have found successfully. I'll find mine one day. I know it. Nobody's gonna keep me down. It feels like it's been forever, but I stumble out of the darkness into the lights. Fighting for the things I know are right. Even though I make mistakes, I say the wrong choice of words. I'm bad enough to admit it. Nobody's perfect. He followed up with a video demonstrating how he draws Sonichu. For the drawing surface, Christian uses a reflector sketch produced by Spin Master, a device made for children to practice tracing sketches. The video also showcases the unusual way in which Chris holds a drawing utensil. Put my little C in a circle, and my John Hancock, and let's give him a little drop shadow underneath. He proceeds to color in his character with Crayola Super Washable Markers. Anyway, now for the old switcheroo, let's uh, close this up here. And put in the hand-drawn pages of book number zero. The old history of the hand-drawn. Print these out, you get blank sight, you get blank edges. Unedited, as they originally were before, I scan them and type the text into them. Oh, that's a good page. Very good page. Anyway, I wanted to again give a shout out to Casey. I care about you very much. Your feelings mean a lot to me. You mean a lot. I'm sorry, Casey, but I'm afraid that, uh, well, I tried to uh, ease you into the subject, but unfortunately I just could not do that. I just had to give it to you straight. I'm sorry, Casey, but you know, he fell in love with Science You and Rose You in the world of Quickville. It's mine. Originally, mine. I'm the guy. March 17, 2000, in front of Miss Naomi Chalifu's classroom at Manchester High. Freshly drawn. You saw it from my own hand. I'm sorry, Casey. I didn't mean if I hurt you, if I hurt you, I'm sorry. You had to know. You have been dating and having relationships with the imposter. His name is Jeff. I'm sorry. I care about you, as I cared about all my other gal pals in my life. From Megan Schroeder, Tiffany, Miranda, Sarah, Kelly, even all the ones I made on the internet. My Australian gal pal, Sarah Cassandra McKenzie, Panda Halo, died in that brush fire. And Sarah Jackson died in the automobile accident. And Ivy O'Neill recently. I had to go listen to my father's me head theories. I'll leave it up to you. I care. For his fourth entry in the Sing Star Challenge, he performs The Touch by Stan Bush, taken from the 1986 Transformers movie. You got the touch! You got the power! Response, Liquid Chris sings Think Twice by rock band Eve Six. I can't let go, I can't get out. I said enough, enough by now. The, uh, the final song for you to sing will be entitled Smell Yo Dick by uh, 
by risque. And you have to sing the whole thing. You have you can't change words because that's cheating and that's ad libbing. You have to sing the real thing. Mm. As, yeah, so uh sing it like a man if you want if you wanna win the competition. Peace. Later that same day, Casey publicly released a video Chris had privately sent to her, made under the guise that he was Liquid Chris. He conceals his appearance by supposedly applying a high contrast filter on his PSI. Hey Casey, it's me. I'm sorry that my uh, computer seems to be hunting up. I love you Casey. You're a good girl. And the more I talk to you, the more I get, the more I appreciate you very much. And there are so many things yet you have to learn, you have to learn about me. But it will be learned in the near future when you come. By the way, my parents will be here when you come by later. So they'll be very happy to uh, meet you. You know, at least my father will. He's a nicer parent nowadays, even though back in the old days he used to be such a stick in the mud. But seriously, yeah, he's a good guy. My mom's a good woman too. Be a bit of a redneck sometimes, but you know, you earn her trust. She'll be good to you. But I welcome you. Let me leave with open arms. I'll see you later. Mm. I can't fight this feeling anymore. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. There's something drifting up to the shore. I'll see you later. In response, Casey called Chris, berating him for pretending to be liquid during their phone calls. <sighs> I can't believe you did that. What, what is wrong with you? I mean, you could have just told me something. You didn't even have to make him look so bad. Just, wh what the hell? <sighs> Casey, I'm sorry. I was trying to spare your feelings. No, no, you weren't. Why didn't you just tell me from the start? You wanted me to come to your house. And just, what were you going to do? Rape me? Or no, what were you no, going no. to do? No, I was, gonna, I was only going to show you the true face of the real man. Why the fuck would I love you? You tricked me too. Just. <laughs> I know. I understand. I'm sorry. No, no, you're I'm not. Because you would have told me this shit. And, and uh, I mean, you had so, so many chances. You're just. You were playing with me. You were playing with my heart. I mean, what? So you could get laid out of it? So you could be no, not no, a virgin no. anymore? <laughs> no. I was trying to be your friend. How, how is that being my friend? Tricking me. I mean, you were pretending to be the same person you're trying to save me from. I mean, why would I want to be your friend, much less your girlfriend? I mean, what redeeming qualities do you have that you have shown me now? I can't say off the top of my head. But I would do my best. No, to make of up course for you can't. Of done. course you can't. You know what? You're just disappointed because now I'm definitely not coming. You, I mean, just you had ulterior motives, or else you would have told me something first. The first thing you said, the first thing was, "Hey, come see me." What? What the yeah. hell? I mean, do you not get that? Even let's say he is doing all these evil things to you. Do you not get that trying to steal a girlfriend is wrong? Did you not get that maybe? Maybe I love him. And I mean, you were trying to say you weren't going to rape me, but you're like, we can go into my room and go straight to lovemaking. I mean, when were you going to tell me when I came in the door? You think I wasn't going to freak out or something? You think I wasn't going to notice that it, you're not him? And that would be embarrassing for your parents. What, did you not even think of them? I thought of a lot of things, but I can't think of everything at once. I have a mental problem. I'm actually slow in the mind sometimes. No, okay. that is okay. not a good excuse. That is never a good excuse. You do not blame shit like that. You you knew what you were doing, and I know you were doing what you are doing. You were being a selfish little prick. Uh, I'm sorry I gave off that impression. Well, what did I'm you sorry. think you were going to do? I just wanted to show you the face of truth. But you know what? You're showing me who Christian Weston Chandler is. And he's just a fat fuck who doesn't care about me, who doesn't care about anyone's feelings. You're just a big I've had a lot of emotional traumas in my lifetime in the past with women. I mean, I've even lost some over the yeah, internet. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why you have. I mean, if you treat them like this... Three they died. Yeah, probably because they wanted to get away from you. Like Sarah Jackson died in an automobile accident. I'm serious. Her sister told me that Sarah Cassandra McKenzie what? slash Panda Halo oh, yeah. like, died like in I, brush fire. Like I, like, I can totally believe you. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care if he's not the son you care. I don't care. I love him. 
and he's been there for me, and you okay. will never, ever be him. He can at least play guitar. He can sing to me. He's been the one with me. You have it. The f- only time I've had with you is you trying to trick me and get me in bed. What the fuck? What the fuck? I understand, and I respect your decision. You are welcome to stay with him, but still, you have to know that... Oh, I'm welcome uh, to stay with him? I get your permission? I get your permission to stay with my own boyfriend? Where where are you coming off? Yeah, you're right. I sometimes have a bad choice. Sometimes I don't know when to use my own words. I mean, the part of the real life autism is sometimes... This is my no girl of... Don't you blame that? Don't you blame that? Are you serious? Do you not know how many autistic children I've worked with? And you know what? They don't do that. They don't fucking do that. And you know what? I don't even think you have autism. I think you have something else. I think you have something that just makes you so n- narcissistic. That's just so – you're so full of yourself. I mean that's not autism. What the hell is wrong with you? Actually, yeah. That is a piece no, of autism. No, no, it's not. I can guarantee you I know more about this shit than you. You know what? Prove it. Prove it. Go ahead because I don't believe you. You ever, ever, ever want a chance with me? You need to prove that. Because you are not textbook case. Yeah, well, I got all the papers here at the home. My father has them in the filing cabinet. I want to see them. Send them to me like you send those pictures. Show them in a video. Right now. Maybe uh, I'll forgive you. My father is asleep. And the filing cabinet is locked. And it's like he had to go through every single file in the filing cabinet just to find the one document order. Well, you better find a way. You better find a fucking way because you're fucking smart, right? I mean, I guess you fooled me. So. Yeah, I'm not always so smart. And you well, know what? The best part is you're not going to learn anything from this, are you? I, it's not just is this the way you want people it. to remember you? No, it's not. I'm then why'd you do it? My, I'm trying to improve myself. I learned. Well, you know what? Well, you can start with showing me those documents. That's how you can start. Okay. I'll get the documents and I'll show them to you. You better. I will. Again, I'm sorry to have put you through all that. <sighs> Just take some deep breaths. Stay safe. Try to keep a happy thought. <laughs> happy thought? You're talking, fuck you. You're talking to me about happy thoughts. I mean, you don't even sound like, God, I, I just can't do it. Just do it tomorrow. Just, ugh. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Take care. The following day, Christian uploaded his fifth and final entry in the SingStar Challenge, preceded by a special message for Liquid Chris and Casey. I have been in error, and I humbly apologize from the bottom of my heart. I did you wrong, I did Casey wrong, but still, she had to know that was why I came in the first place. But she still cares about you, man. Even after line door like that for a long of time. Uh, let's just hope we can put this behind us and please, dude, please, stop pretending to be me. It ain't worth it. It's not fun. You're gonna get yourself in jail, man. Identity theft is a serious crime. I just hate to break up that relationship between you and her, especially since it's so honest. It's so true. She loves you, man. So please, dude, come clean. Yes, your name is Chris Chandler. That's it. No Chin, no Christopher, no Ricardo, no Weston. That's you, man. So please, man, take off that paper medallion. Stop selling the fake merchandise. Come clean. Please. Come clean and I'll be right. Between you, between me, between Casey, and the whole world. As per Liquid Chris's request, he sang Smell Yo Dick by Risqué. However, because of his aversion to using the lewd term, he replaces every instance of dick in the song with duck, thusly breaking his own rule of not being able to alter lyrics. Something's going on, can I smell yo duck? Liquid Chris rightfully addressed the issue in a short video. Well, I told you not to, and you did. And now uh, you, you had lived, you changed the song, and you are disqualified. No, wait. I take that back. I will rescind your disqualification if within the next four hours you record the true and original version of the song No Changes. Hmm. In response, 
Christian re-recorded the song with the original lyrics. As chosen by Christian, Liquid Chris's final entry was Lift Up Your Eyes by the Planet Shakers, which was performed in a manner not uncharacteristic of Christian's own style of singing. Him in worship, crying holy, holy, holy. In the middle of the song, he makes a spontaneous comment directed at Chris. Trust you, my girlfriend, I see. In addition, the version that Liquid Chris recorded was significantly shorter than the full cut of the original song. This discrepancy in length was addressed by Chris the following day. Chris Chandler! Firstly, your video is only half the length of that track. The full length of that track is almost 10 minutes. Redo the video for the full 9 minutes something length commentary you can put them in a separate video separate and another thing chris your real your real name as i have been told by casey is only chris chandler no chin no to fur just chris so admit that and another thing my name is not ian brandon something ah. I am Christian Weston Chandler, so get it through your damn fucking skull and call me the real name that that God has been given to me and the fair at Regency Square Shopping Center during 1989. You damn mocking bastard! Get it right! I'm Christian Weston Chandler. You are only Chris Chandler! Your metal is made out of paper. The whole length of time, the real metal has been made out of Crayola fucking model magic and acrylic paint. If I wanted paper, I would go to Walmart and pay $5 for 500 sheets. Everybody on the internet knows that I am the real deal. You are the imposter, so give up the damn game already before I really call the police. Before the I actually... Before I tell the police all the information I have gotten since I finally got them involved and then send them on your case, put you in jail, if, even though I would prefer not to see you in jail because Casey respects you so much, man. She cares about you so much. She has told me so herself over the telephone. I would hate to see you in jail out of respect and the care because she would be heartbroken. You are a lucky son of a gun, Chris Chandler. So quit this stupid impersonation game. This game is not fun. If you are not careful, you really are going to go to jail. You will be trying court, and you will be going to jail or serve community service. Forcedly. I was nice about it. I told you the details. And what do you do? You kick me in the balls again! And I do not appreciate that. So stop it. Stop it. Come clean. Rip off your paper, Medallion. Rip it up like a shred of paper. Look at my metal. I cannot even twist it because it is made from mono magic. Not some cheap paper I could get at Walmart for five hundred dollars for five dollars for five hundred sheets. Sing the whole nine minutes something song. Hello, Ian. I sing a whole song, but it's, uh, it's just the same thing over over and over again. You know, I mean, what's I don't really see the point. Unless you got some sort of secret plan to troll me again. You know, you troll me so much. Liquid Chris conceded and sang the complete version of the song. He nevertheless altered the lyrics. Ole! 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 Hmm. Yeah, that was a pretty long song. Hmm, I agree. 
The following day, Christian uploaded the first nine pages of Sonichu episode 20 onto the Wikipedia. He would periodically upload new pages onto his website until the completion of the comic. It was around this time that Liquid Chris spoke with Christian over the phone. Hello, Ian. Yeah, I think you know who this is. <sighs> Look, Christian, stop this. Look, you are giving me a lot of stress right now, and I am not going to handle it. <sighs> Look, Chris, listen, I was kind enough to accept that you defend that you are actually a Christian W. Chandler, but you yes, are born my name, as a... my name is Christian Weston Chandler. I find your name is Christian Weston Chandler, but the fact yes. is you're born with that name. You are not the Christian Weston Chandler that was born as Christopher Weston Chandler, who's the original creator of Sancho and Rose Shoe. No. Look, I don't know what the heck is wrong in your head, but no, you know, I don't, and I, I know, I... your parents know, Casey knows, the whole world knows that you are not uh, a Christian. For but Christian part of West Chandler. Don't do this. You're breaking my balls here. Stop doing this. Stop it. You are really kicking me off right now. Look, we're both sitting each other off. Let's, let's you just, just keep making up all these things on the. Just water. Them up I have off the top of your head because your name is not Christian Weston Chandler. It is Ian Brandon Anderson, and you are no. grinding my gear. There is no it. such thing as Ian Brandon Anderson. I, I am actually Christopher figured it out. Weston Chandler. No. Because I found it out, your Ian Brandon Anderson name. The reason you add, you added uh, Chandler to that is because you were paying tribute to the serial killer Oba Chandler. Um, you keep that up. He's gonna hang up. I gotta lose track of communication right there. I'm not gonna let this go. He's looking around at me in real life. He's continuing to call me this Ian Brandon Anderson that somebody made up. <sighs> Look, Chris, stop it. Stop this game. You know I'm that you are not... Game. I've been being true and honest this entire time, and you have been playing a dirty game. I am not playing a game. I am the true, honest one here. I am no. the original true creator of Sanchu and Roshu in the world of Quickville. No, I'm just trying, no. Just trying, you're just, that was you're, me. You have never been to Manchester High School. You have that's never that, been that, to Piedmont Valley Community College. You're taking the same class as Casey is over at Community College in Washington, D.C. Uh, no, I am not. I don't even live in the Washington, D.C. You are in D.C. I know it. No, I, she knows no. it. We all know it. Now, stop mm, this. Yeah, like, if you don't, yeah, like if you, if you don't, if you don't come, if you, the, if you do not come clean right now, I am going to get my father in on this murder, and you are going to get fucking arrested, thrown in jail, and you will not get to live the peaceful, happy life of Casey that I would like you to live because Casey really cares for you, man. That's not true. I am on a roll. I was on a roll. And you, you have just been. And you know what? Yeah. How would you? What did you even? You know, you keep making all these threats with the police. I am not making up any threats. Everything I tell you is true, honest, and legit. You no, are the one. You are not here. being true, and you are not being honest. Okay, this is it. I gave you the last warning. I gave you the last response. You just busted my balls again. You're going to jail. I'm sorry, Casey. Yeah. On August 9th, Chris uploaded another warning for Liquid Chris. Look, Mr. Christian, Mr. Chandler, I have already informed my father to go ahead with the uh, police trials and to get the police that we have already involved in the case, getting them further involved. You pretty much just cashing your chips when you made the phone call last night and harshly talked to me. You would not even listen. You would call me the liar. You would continue to call me by that stupid Ian name. When everybody on the world wide web and around the whole world knows that I'm the real deal. You are ruining your relationship with Casey. She's all heartbroken about over, the, over this whole feuding between us. She's very sad. She's very depressed. You have not called her for days. What are you doing, man? She cares about you very much and honestly from her heart. 
She asked you, did you, to stop playing this game. What? Why did you start? Were you bored? Were you just an outcast? What? We already have so many people involved. And at this point, I'm just going to do it. Bring you in. You're going to get arrested. We're going to see you in court. Hopefully you will only have to serve community service. Because I really would hate to see you and KC's relationship a lost cause. Dude. Dude. And to everybody else that is not troll and all the true fans, please come back and stay with me. Because I know that some of you have left and you were replaced by trolls or otherwise you turn troll. Please come back. We're good people. I'm good people. I'm honest. And just like in Jesus, if you continue to have faith in me, all rewards will be shown. And the rewards are shown on on a daily basis for the small update. Even if I miss one day, something will happen the next day on the Wikipedia. No more of that stupid email name. Anybody else who mislabels me as that name again, or anybody else calls me, who mislabels me a homosexual in person, if it's a guy, he will get, or he can accept the answer straightforward on my honest heart and just leave it at that and spread the word around further. Or if it's a lady, I will give her the option of either accepting the truth or allow me to kiss her strong and long on the cheek, the face cheek, and video record it. So everybody get your skulls, I'm the real deal. He's the imposter, stop this stupid game, stop encouraging Christian Weston Chandler number two over there. <laughs> stupid dog tag. I'll forget about the stupid dog tag. The only reason I'm wearing it is because it represents, like, you know, I've experienced some of the good things in life. I've played lottery a few times. I've traveled to Ohio, uh, but thanks to that stupid mats. And I've had a few drinks. The only check mark that's not left, that's the only thing that only mark that has not been checked yet for a good life, is the Virgin Breaker. I'm straight. We got that cleared up. Don't ever call me Ian. Don't ever call me Guy. Have a safe day. Stay safe. Peace. On August 10th, Christian made a video attempting to convince his audience that he was the real Christian Weston Chandler based on the physical similarities between himself in the present and his appearance in the videos he had posted before Liquid Chris's arrival. Personality types. In the longer run, who has been the cooler man who has originally done everything in the Sachin and Rose Shoot comics? As you notice in all the videos, I have been the cooler man, I have been more calm, and even my voice sounds more similar to everything in the past recordings, including my 25th birthday. And look at my face, the very same face from February 24th, two years ago. And another thing. Yes, I have never learned to play a real guitar, but that doesn't mean I could not rock. So that's a good reason why I play a guitar hero. I have still been having a harder time of trying to find a boyfriend for a girl and to make it to a sweetheart from the ground up. Yeah, he was able to get a girlfriend like that. Big difference. The longer run, the real Christopher Christian Weston Chandler had a harder time. It still is having a bit of a hard time. And also, if you look at the eight-year-old photo, and I have recently looked back upon it, the eight-year-old video, yes, it is true. I'm no longer ashamed of it. I was born with the body type that has man boobs. Body type. You might say a little bit of an A, a little bit of size A. So there. I'm still a man. My dick was on that Encyclopedia Dramatica page. 
that it was falsely brought on because the trolls posed as women who falsely gained my trust. I know it's my fault. My fault that those trolls got the information. But still, they documented it for the longest time since about about 2006 or 2007. So, there you go. That's a few big differences between me and him. He does not have any of these things. He has nothing. All he has is just a piece of paper that I could get 500 sheets of at Walmart for five bucks. With the Battle of the Chrises still seemingly raging on, Christian was trying his hardest to take back his life, which, despite its many flaws, regrets, and troubled past, it was rightfully his, and his alone.